Sing me a song of a last that is gone. Say, could that last be I? Mary of soul, she sailed on a day over the sea to sky. Hey everyone, Alvine here. So today I'm going to be doing a haul video, which I'm really excited about. I've been wanting to do a haul video for like, the last year and a half, I swear. <laughs> Not this one specifically, but a haul video. You know, I buy all this cool stuff and then witchy related things, and then I have no one to show it to. I'd always show Sean, show Sean, show Sean, to my husband, and um, he was never terribly excited. It's just like, darling, I don't feel like your level of excitement is quite where I'd like it to be. Now I have you guys. <laughs> so I can show you more stuff. I have been buying a few things recently. Um, this will be my first and probably the last haul video for a little while. Um, I've bought a lot of books and books, um, witchy books to buy in Australia here are quite expensive. So without further ado, no, let's still here. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> first of all, I have actually let me take that off this oh, let me zoom zoom there we go can you see the pretty belladonna and bones flying ointment this is the lucius flying balm yes um this is it's got wormwood belladonna leaf belladonna root clary sage beeswax and rice bran oil um this is the first flying ointment that I've ever tried, I've ever used. Um, and let's zoom back out again so I can talk to you. Hello. Um, powerful stuff. I actually, I met a goddess with this um, lovely flying ointment. So this is something that's going to last me quite a long time. Um, you know, there it is in all its glory. Um, I didn't use a lot um, and I did feel the effects um, quite strongly, which for me is unusual. I, um, let me, oh. I, I have like, I don't know, my body has a resistance to like a lot of um, medication and things, you know, like if I, for example, if I go and get anesthetic for, anesthetic for dental stuff, I need like a double shot because I can still feel it. Um, Panadol, I usually need quite a lot because I have a resistance to these things, even though I don't use them much. Anyway. So I thought it might be the same with this, but it worked really well. Um, and oh, I've gone blank. I can see her face. Gemma from by Feather Branch and Stone um, on YouTube. She got me onto this. She mentioned it a little while ago. Um, not this one specifically, but another balm by this um, Australian company. And I thought, oh, I must give that a try. Um, I always get excited when I find Australian companies because there aren't heaps over here that are doing cool stuff you know most of the ones that i find are in the us or the uk so it means postage is a little bit less which is always a very exciting thing a lot of my new <laughs> international friends are finding out just how much australian postage is it can be a little bit of a killer you know i find these amazing products and then it's like oh that's so good and then it's like 26 dollars in postage Sometimes I pay it anyway because I feel like the product's worth it. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, no, nah, that's just not going to happen. The next thing I have to show you, I'm really excited about. This is like the creme a la creme of the haul. Is... Da, 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 da. Oh. Can you guess what it is? Let me see if I can. Let's do this thing again. The Temple of Witches Smudge by Starry Eyed Supplies. Actually, sorry. I'm going to like zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. Let's zoom in again. I want to show you how pretty, how pretty, how pretty. Look. Oh, look at that. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? This is my new... Oh, my God. It's so good. I forget every time I forget. This is the most delicious amazing incredible thing I've ever smelled in my entire life I opened it up and was just like blown away actually every time I open up to be honest I'm blown away it I wish we had smell vision it's so good I'd heard it was really good um, which is why I decided to get it but 
it surpassed all my expectations. Um, I've had some really incredible, um, done some really incredible workings with this as well already. I've only had it for a little while. Um, I absolutely love it. Like, if my whole house could smell like this all the time, I would be probably the happiest person in the world, I think. <laughs> um, if you're thinking of getting anything from Starry Eyed Supplies, I cannot recommend Joey highly enough. I. I really resonate with a lot of what she puts out there. Um, so I respected her very much as a person and as a witch already. Um, I figured she, she knows her stuff. Um, and I'd heard other people who have used her products and have really liked them. Uh, after trying it myself, yeah, like I cannot recommend her products highly enough. Um, you can feel the the intention and the magic that she has worked into these. Not only are the products in and in and of themselves amazing, you know, smell incredible, look incredible, but you can feel, like I said, the magic in them, the witchery in them. So if you're thinking of getting anything from her, please do. You will not regret it. I can guarantee that. Get it. Just do it. You want to do it, trust me, it is so worth it. I will be buying it again, absolutely, hands down. It's my new favourite thing and I love it. So, go out and do it. If you're in Australia, pay for the postage. You will not be sorry. <laughs> Alright, next thing. Now we're into books. Book haul, book haul. The first one is a novel. This is one I found um, at a charity store recently. So, in Australia, we call charity stores op shops, but for the purpose of international communication, I've decided to call them charity stores because <laughs> I feel like everyone knows what I'm talking about if I say that, right? The Horse Witch. This book is set in the Iron Age in Scotland um, and it's really well written. It's fantastic. So it's about, um, it's about a boy and his mother was a witch and his father brought her back to his clan and married her. There was this whole issue. Um, the clan lord ended up murdering her, his father, and a bunch of other people, but sparing his life because um, he was only a baby at the time. And it's basically about his journey um, into discovering, I think, who he is. Um, I'm only partially the way through. You can see it's only been a couple of days, but. Um, yeah, it's really fantastic. It's, it's so well written. Like I just, at the end of the day is when I usually read novels. Um, you know, I curl up in bed and then spend, you know, half an hour, an hour, whatever reading. Um, at the moment, that's my current habit. Um, and I just look forward to it. You know, I love getting into bed and just curling up with this book. And usually I end up reading longer than I plan to. But by the time I get in there, I'm like, my eyes are like, Oh, so I don't spend too long. Anyway, what am I saying? Doesn't matter. Really good book. The Horse Witch. So if you happen to see that anywhere, um, I'd recommend that, to be honest. And next I have, these are all um, non-fiction books now. Talking with Nature. This is a book that was recommended to me by a friend. Um, one of her friends had read it and absolutely loved it. Um, she is... Uh, more new age based and she really enjoyed it. I didn't realize this book was Australian actually until it arrived and there's a little kangaroo on the front. Look at him. So cute. Um, so this book's really good. It was written in the 80s um, and I, from what I hear, it's incredibly relevant still today. I'll read the back of it for you so to give you and Mo an idea of what's going on. Michael Rhodes, the author, has always been close to nature, but one day when a river started talking to him, he began to doubt his sanity. There followed a series of encounters with the natural world, each more startling than the last. First it was the heron, next it was the silence, then it was a whole flock of birds. Finally he learned to let go and allow these presences to take him where they would. He found himself led stage by stage to a final wisdom, remarkable in its simplicity and its message of hope for mankind. After reading this book, you will never again wonder if nature can speak. It can and it does, and this unique book may well expand your awareness of the special bond between man and his environment. So I'm super excited about reading this. Um, 
I've decided I'm going to do like every few months I might do an update on the um, spiritual or magical related books that I've been reading and kind of let you guys know uh, how they were for me. Um, so this will be in there. Expect that soon. I'm really excited about getting into that one. I've been waiting to show you. Although, I must say, as with this book, I, I didn't wait with all of them. <laughs> This book I've already read because it was just taking too long for everything else to arrive before I um, want to show you. Okay, that's not true. I was just really excited to read it. So as soon as it arrived, I started reading it and I was like, I'll show you anyway. Whole oh, new book. So this is number two of the Blade Honer series by Maria Kilfog. Kilfog, I think is how you pronounce her name. I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, My Enemy's Head. So... This is a novel that I mentioned a while ago that I was reading. Um, it's a novel that is about Norse culture. If you're interested in Norse culture at all, I highly recommend these books. They're so good. Maria knows her stuff. I will put a link to her YouTube down below. Um, I think I did in the last video too. But go check her out if you're interested in anything to do with Norse anything. Um, she's amazing and she's written these books really well too. I've got to say though, if you don't like reading about sex, this is not the book for you. <laughs> um, this one's very much, has a lot of um, adult themes in it, shall we say. Um, I, I loved it, it was great. So yeah, this is the second book and there is going to be four books in the series, I believe. Um, there's three out at the moment, the next one's coming. So I'll be really excited to read the next one after this one. I got through this so quickly. I just gobbled it all up. So there's that one. And the next, all well, these are probably together really. Do you see her peeking at you? Can you see? Ah. See me peeking at you? All right, it's not working. <laughs> Grimoire for the Apprentice Wizard. This is my textbook for grey school. Um, I've, oh, let me fix that. I've briefly mentioned that I'm um, participa participating. I've signed up for an online school of wizardry and it's so fun. Um, so I've started doing that and I'm really enjoying it. But this is one of the textbooks um, for the school. You can actually just buy this. It's interesting. I had this saved on a list. Um, oh, that's something else I wanted to mention in a minute. Um, I had this saved on a list of books that I wanted. And then when I signed up for grade school, I realized that this was the book that I would need. So I was like, all right, cool, cool. Um, in here, there's a lot about all different little things. Um, there's stuff on herbalism, there's stuff on magical materials, there's things on the moon, um, uh, meditation, visualization, um, automatic writing, um, divination. Oh, climbing the tree. So there's just, you know, like it's chock full of information. It's, there's a lot of stuff in there and I think it's all quite basic. Um, Excuse me. This is for the first couple of years of grey school, as far as I understand. So there's that. And then also the other textbook, there's only two that you need. The Companion for the Apprentice Wizard. It arrived with a big, with a big, you know. Anyway. Um, so I haven't got into that yet. Um, but this is basically more of the same, but I think um, more in-depth information. So there's those two books, excited about those, and Victorian Grimoire. So I was watching a video, oh my foot's going to sleep, that's not going to be fun. I was watching a video with Amber Honey Raven and Arwen Lynch the other day and um, they were talking about what their favourite books are and Amber mentioned this book which Arwen had actually got her onto. And they're both like, oh yes, yes, that's a good book. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, I'm going to have a look. And I found it at a very decent price. So I thought I would give it a go. It's gorgeous. Like, again, this is one of those, you know, a little bit of everything books. Um, let me see if I can show you some pictures. It's just, oh no, I'm getting pins and needles, you guys. Oh, it's a pretty picture. 
Yeah, I'm so gonna have to stop the video in a second and jump around a little bit. Oh, picture. So it's sort of like a romanticized, um, magical grimoire, basically. Um, you know, there's things on sort of hearth and home magic, um, and it just looks really, really fun and really pretty. You know that feeling? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna be fine, I'm gonna be fine. Last one, push through, push through. Is, oh, look how huge this book is. Do you remember I mentioned how, like, I have a really big head? This is bigger than my head by quite a bit. It's so big. <laughs> So fat, and look how shiny. So new and shiny. Um, this is one that I've wanted to read for a while as well, and I found it at a decent price, and so was tempted, and I followed through with my temptation. The Complete Book of Witchcraft by Raymond Buckland. It is the classic course in Wicca for 25 years. I don't know what that means. For the last 25 years, or over the period of 25 years? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, again, a little bit of everything in this book. Um, there's herbalism, there's stuff on sabbats, there's, you know, how to make your own robe, um, various tools, between lives, um, healing, baking different things, various alphabets. You can see there. <laughs> that was creepy, I like poking my little eye out there. Um, yeah, so I'm not Wiccan, as I've mentioned before. Um, I was kind of like resistant to Wicca in the beginning, um, and that's because after uh, after after leaving uh, Christianity, I didn't want to just jump into someone else's religion. So I was resistant to Wicca because I was like, no, I, you know, I could see the the, the strong um, religious aspects in Wicca, which there is nothing wrong with at all. Um, it was just something I was like, yeah, I, I don't really want to sort of go in that direction. Um, but Wicca, as I've mentioned, has a huge, has had a huge influence on all Western magical traditions, um, whether people like to admit it or not. So anyway, Wicca's cool. Reading the Wiccan book, it's going to be great. I'm going to learn so much, it's going to be fun. And then I just wanted to show you a couple of other little things that I found this morning. This is like a little nature haul. Uh, let me show you this feather. Look, it's so blue. I have a few of these feathers um, that I found a while ago, actually. And I don't... Oh, that's better. I don't need my hand. I don't know what kind of bird they're from, actually. Um, it'd probably be pretty easy to find out but they're really gorgeous, that blue. And then I have a cockatoo feather that I found as well. That's pretty, that's just all white. It doesn't have any yellow on it, this one. Cockatoos are yellow and white, as you can probably guess from what I just said. And this, actually I'll show you this first. All right, ready? Are you ready? Da, da. Da, da, keeps going forever. Da. This huge piece of, it's not really that big. It's kind of that big. Uh, I think it was from an oak tree. Um, I just found this cut off at the park and I was like, well, that looks like a really cool piece of wood, so I'm going to take it. Um, don't tell the council. I kind of do things like that all the time. So I thought it would be really good, like, can you see the, yeah, the branches? It would be really cool to, like, sit something on there, or like if I cut this down, I mean like a big crystal ball or something, that would be sick. If you guys are feeling generous and anyone wants to send me a giant crystal ball, <laughs> hit me up for my address. <laughs> um, no, but I'll put something on there, so yeah, it was just a really cool, really cool piece of wood and I like the, um, like the little, I don't know what you call it, oh, it's hair, it's my hair, fungus and whatever growing on it is pretty as well. So, yes, and the last thing, the very last thing, leaves, hear that sound, of course you can hear that sound, this oh, smells amazing, it's so good, I wish I had smell vision again so you could smell this, it would seriously, it would make your day if you smelt this, and the Temple of Witches, I'm having a really good day, <laughs> um, 
I walked over to this tree, and I'm not sure what kind of tree exactly, it is a native Australian tree, um, some kind of gum, eucalyptus or something. Um, I feel like I should know more about this, but, you know, what kind of Australian pagan am I? I would like to know more about trees. I would like to learn the names of the trees this year. That's something I am aiming for. Anyway, I walked up to this huge tree and it smelled incredible. Like, it was so strong, the smell. And I was like, oh, I want some of those leaves to take home with me. And the leaves were all way out of reach. Like, the branches were way up there. Um, and then I looked down after asking and saw this sitting on the ground. I was like, oh, perfect. And it's already, um, they're already a bit dry too. So, um, they'll, some of the ones at the top are a bit more yellow. I don't know if you can can't really see them. So those will be nice to burn as well um, and just to smell and to hear rattling, rustling? Rustling is probably better. So that's my little haul video. I hope that you liked it. <laughs> um, I'm excited about the stuff and I will do some book reviews coming up in the next probably a month or so. Um, I might do it like three monthly or something. I've got a few books that I've read already this year so um, I'll talk about the spiritual and magical books that I've read and let you guys know what I think and if they're worth your time. Uh, what is worth your time? Do it. You know that you want to. Seriously. Seriously. <sighs> Alright. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Many blessings.